In this video, we're going to look for the equipment and go through the technique for managing a painful dry socket. We can use the special fancy curved syringe for washing out the socket. And we've got the antibacterial and anaesthetic paste to gently place into the cleaned out socket. These are almost always back teeth. Probably also worth grabbing a few of these bolsters. A dental mirror and a gum retractor, again, to help visibility. You'll frequently find that it's easier to wash out a molar tooth if there is some local anaesthetic. To dry the tooth in any of the treatment spaces, you can just attach the, the suction tubing to the oxygen outlet or air outlet. A dry socket on a lower molar can be managed with a mix of an inferior alveolar nerve block and a buccal sulcus block. To place an inferior alveolar block, identify the fold of skin that I can never remember the name of. Then you want to advance the needle from the opposite premolar, going just lateral to that fold of skin, about five or 10 mils above the level of the teeth. And you want to slide that just between that fold of skin and the mandible, advancing it about two thirds of the length of the needle and injecting three or four mils of local anaesthetic. The nerve block can be beefed up by injecting the same as on the upper gum, two or three mils into the uh, buccal sulcus. A dry socket on an upper molar can be managed with a field block. Inject one to two mils into the sulcus, then in the second injection, advance the needle just one or two millimetres under the mucosal surface on the palatal side and inject a small amount of local anaesthetic to blanch the skin. This is quite a painful injection. Wash out and suck away all the sloughy grey exudate over the socket, revealing the exposed bone underneath. When this is done, get some alva gel on tweezers and gently place into the socket. This does not need to be packed firmly. 